invite Ola Hillingsson, the CEO from uh, Domsjö Fabriker. Domsjö Fabriker is one of the leaders in the increasing group of Swedish environment technology businesses that put Sweden on the global map of green growth. Welcome Ola. Thank you very much. Can you give me some examples of products and product development in Domsjö Fabriker? Yes, uh, our main products at present are specialty cellulose, mainly aimed for the textile business. It is linosulfonate uh, for the uh, construction industry, working as a uh, dispersing agent, reducing the CO2 emissions. And it is bioethanol, the second generation bioethanol. And our future products uh, will be bio-DME and biomethanol for heavy trucks. Did I hear right? Did you say textile industry and forest? Yes, I did so. I see something in your uh, in front of you here. That means that uh, the new fashion industry is going to look at the forest industry. I think so. Um, the fiber market for textile is uh, huge. It's 75 million uh, tons annually and consists of uh, one third based on cotton and two thirds based on fossil oil polyester mainly and uh, as you know uh, both these products are critical from a sustainability point of view and here uh, certified forest combined with an industry like we have in Domsjö is a fantastic opportunity. So when are we going to see the fashion week in, uh, in Sweden based on forest product? You can already today visit any shop uh, in Sweden or elsewhere in the world and you should ask for viscose which is the uh, which is the quality of the product. Interesting. Well um, I understand that uh, the two uh, main product we talked about now with the related to textile and, and to transportation both of them is also related to carbon footprint. Uh, and uh, I understand that uh, that's an issue that you also are looking at. We are definitely. Um, I think there are three uh, factors. It's water, it's uh, fossil oil and it is the CO2 footprint. And in principle all products we are doing, including the process we have at Domsjö, are supporting uh, this development to improve uh, things. So how did this uh, company uh, uh, grow? Uh, what is the background of Domsjö Fabrike? The fascinating thing is that the mill was built in the beginning of 1900 and that was before oil had become the product it is today. Uh, it was owned by the motor group and it didn't fit into a strategy based on uh, productive uh, units of uh, printing paper and uh, paper grade pulp. So it was sold uh, to some private people who saw the potential to do something different and you can say that the concept is very much a question of doing things beyond oil. Interesting. And how is it to be a CEO of a company who, uh, what I understand, uh, looking at sort of sustainability and uh, leadership uh, how is it to lead a company like that? Well, there are a lot of challenges, as you can understand, but it is very, very encouraging and we get a lot of credits, I must say. And uh, how many people are working in Domsjö Fabriker today? Uh, 350 hard-working people in Sweden and uh, some 25 in the Baltic uh, countries. And so far, where is your market? 50% uh, in Asia. China is the main market. Interesting. Thank you, Ola Hillingsson.